And it's one of the busiest travel days of the year. 22 News reporter Matt Karen has been monitoring the traffic and joins us live from the Ludlow rest stop. Well, it is rush hour here on the Mass Pike, and you can tell it's a little busier than usual as people hop in the car and head to Grandma's house. A wet Wednesday didn't stop travelers from getting to their Turkey Day destinations. Nearly 51 million Americans will be traveling for this Thanksgiving. That's the highest number in a dozen years, and nearly 90% of those travelers will be hitting the open road. But the roads may not be so open, and that's despite gas prices being 50 cents a gallon higher than last year. 22 News visited Union Station in Springfield, where train departures seem to take a backseat to bus service for people like Barbara Bosano. For Thanksgiving, I'm normally in Manhattan, uh, volunteering at a community church dinner and trying to visit my family in South Hadley on the alternate days. But traveling is a bit hectic, but I find most hectic trying to find an available seat. We also visited Bradley International Airport, where the crowded concourse kept TSA lines longer than usual. The TSA lines are, yes. So I have my iPad, I have my cell phone, and then everything else that they don't want you to carry, that they do want you to carry. You know, you have to go through all that. I have to throw this out. But the hectic hustle and bustle of the holiday season was met with calm by some travelers who kept in mind the end result would be spending time with loved ones. I like that I will see my family. I will see my mom, dad, my two sisters, and all my friends. And travelers have some advantages and disadvantages as they travel this year. Airfare is cheaper compared to last year, but car rentals and hotel stays are more expensive. Live in Ludlow, Matt Karen, 22 News.